Last week, Sievers announced their version of Curve Benchwork, a product I designed and have been selling exclusively for nearly 13 years. Curve Benchwork is really why MRB exists. Now, unfortunately, there's not much I can legally do about this because if you've watched this channel for any length of time, you've actually seen me build Curve Benchwork and teach you how to build Curve Benchwork. But the intention here was to help the model railroading community build their own model railroads. And that's the crux. MRB really started with Curve Benchwork. You see, when I got out of high school, I worked as a concrete laborer specializing in curved formwork, and during the winter, I remodeled houses. My first laminated curved wood project was actually a round hobbit door and frame that I built for my boss. During the same time frame, I was also building modular tables for my Lego model railroading hobby, and I built tables for nearly my entire club. So the goal with MRB was to take an old idea, open grid benchwork and modernize it. Open grid benchwork, you see, is not a new idea and it wasn't even Seaver's idea. Open grid benchwork has been common in model railroading since the 1950s. Don't believe me? See John Armstrong's HO scale railroads first published in 1957. So why am I telling you all of this? For context. My modular benchwork is made from high quality cabinet grade plywood because I worked at a cabinet shop, but it had the added benefit of being the suggested material in every benchwork book since the 1960s. I chose to use pocket hole screw construction instead of end grain screwing because it makes for strong benchwork, just like it makes strong cabinets. My benchwork features curves because I was a concrete guy and I recognize curved benchwork provides better support with less legs. And finally, my benchwork kits are based on a six inch grid instead of a four inch grid as Seavers does because that's what I used to use with my Lego train hobby. To further differentiate my product from Seavers benchwork, I also created several products entirely unique to the MRB product line. In particular, I offer about 100 more options for module sizes, in addition to L-shaped legs, dual deck brackets, and most importantly, curved benchwork, all products that are unique and help the hobby. You see, my intention was not to become a competitor to Seaver's benchwork, but to provide an alternative. Now, just like phones, some people prefer Seaver's and some prefer MRB. And you see, the thing is, is I don't think one product is better than the other. They serve different markets and they appeal to different people, and that's perfectly okay. However, last week, Seavers decided to take my unique product offering of Curve Benchwork and monetize it. It seems as if Seavers used my video or photos as an instruction book on how to create my product for their Benchwork line instead of innovating something unique, and I'm not okay with this. Now this might be 100% legal, but morally and ethically, it's just wrong. To add insult to injury, they have not only copied my assembly process for creating curves out of four layers of 3 16 plywood, but they have also copied my pricing, which I can't decide if it's lazy or just insulting. With all that said, I need your help. I need you to share my website or this YouTube channel with others when they ask about modular benchwork. And most importantly, I need you to help others understand that model railroading is a huge hobby, but it's made of thousands of tiny businesses with only a few employees. And we need to work together to innovate and build this community, not copy each other's products. It's this innovation after all that's always brought the next generation into this wonderfully creative hobby. Finally, if you've watched this till the end, I wanna say thank you and offer you 5% off my entire product line permanently by using the code MODERNBENCHWORK. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.